Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Horrorsoft Presents Waxworks. Here, uh, this game was actually a donation, and I have to reduce the sound a little bit, I think. A little bit more. Well, like this. Okay, that's it. Um, this game was a donation by Elden Loco. I actually never wanted to accept donations because, well, first of all, I never thought anybody would play the game to me. <laughs> and but when he offered it to me, I thought it would be kind of rude to reject an offer like this. So and considering they made this game pretty cheap on GOG, I didn't sell too bad. I'm not really a fan of getting presents. Good evening, sir. You look kind of creepy. Would you be so kind as to enter? I don't really want to. Welcome to your uncle's waxworks. I'm his assistant. Please, this is very fast. Can I reduce the speed a little bit? Just a little bit. Like, 80%. Okay, um, GOG made it so that this game, uh, always has the same code, and that's why I will, uh, pause quick. But your uncle instructed me to give oh, this crystal ball. Okay, Waxworks. What is this game about? This game is about examining. Doors are locked. Okay. I still have the feeling this is pretty loud. Sheesh. Okay, better. Um, this. Hey. Okay. Uh, this game is about your. A curse on your family. I don't remember what. Yes, a curse on your family. And every time there are twins born, uh, one of them is really evil. And you are the one chosen to break this curse from your uncle. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We have to kill the. Or uh, stop the four brothers in the past who were evil and then confront our own brother, the Mayan Waxwork. That looks kinda interesting, but we won't go in there yet. Jack the Whipper Waxwork, okay. Graveyard Waxwork, mm -hmm. and a Pyramid Waxwork. We will enter the Graveyard Waxwork first. In loving memory, salmon. A waxwork of zombies in a graveyard. The plague describes the story behind the waxwork. Okay. The fifth in the line of twins showed a keen interest in death and the supernatural from an early age. He went on to study black magic and before long has specialized in necromancy. The magic of the dead. He soon gravitated to a master in the craft, and like all who deal in necromancy, he became an undead himself. Not aging, unkillable by normal means. This immortality was made possible by magic developed by himself, which enabled him to steal life force from innocent victims. He masqueraded as a priest and took over the running of a small cemetery, where he set about building an undead army for his evil purpose. He seized the opportunity to put an undead in a position of power when a local baron was taken ill. He visited a man in the guise of the priest, killed and resurrected him as a zombie. People became suspicious of activities in the graveyard and shambling figures were seen wandering around at night. Claims of necromancy were made to the undead baron for witch hunters, but all were ignored. And the twin began to, began to take an interest in his family's curse and started to collect and restore the bodies of his dead ancestors, especially those of the good twins. He also managed to capture and tame one of the most powerful undead, namely a vampire, which he used as his personal bodyguard. Eventually, the menace was destroyed by the gravedigger who had ventured in to recover a shovel that he had left there. The gravedigger turned out to be the boss of the necromancer, but the details of how the feat was performed were never recorded. Okay, I guess we are now the brother. Uh, enter. Graveyard Waxwork. Okay, looks interesting. Uh, safe. Hello? Safe. Uh, woof. Graveyard. It's out. Graveyard. 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 
thank you. Ugh. Okay, where the fuck am I? <coughs> I'm now looking north. Okay, um, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm not really a fan of getting presents, but uh, I have I know it's it should be like that. Oh, a dead man! Salmon. The severely mutilated body of the gardener. Search. Ugh. Dude, you don't look that good. You know, you have your like claw marks here and. <sighs> you whipped your shirt! Jeez! Oh, yes, and your intestines are coming out. A sickle. Examine. A short handled gardener sickle. Can I take the sickle? Yes. Can I take his intestines? No. Oh. Dude, really, you, you, you should clean yourself up. That's disgusting. Use. This is now your selected weapon. My weapon of choice. Uh, but I will eat my next Mac Whip in honor of you. Ah, ah. I know you love the, you hate love and groups, so love to hate them. What? I'm confused. Yes, this is a very confusing woo. Uh the sickle, use. This is not your selected weapon. Oh, yes. There. Um there. Ha! Ha! Can I have an alpha text? Yes. You lost your arm. I, I thought you would be interested in knowing that. Haha, <laughs> no, he's helpless. You lost your head. You have gone up a level. Awesome. How much fun do I have? Okay, that's it. At least now I know how to fight. <laughs> it is kinda helpful. Uh, about the death scenes, I will try to get some in. I'm not, I will most likely, perhaps I will miss some. And I try not to uh, use a walk through too much. I will use one for the Jack the Ripper next work. Because this one sucks balls. And whoa. And most likely I will use one for the uh, pyramid. But this graveyard isn't that hard. It's just confusing. And the rocks where I went was just like, oh, go east, go west, go north. Mm -hmm. In a maze, it's not really easy to go north and stuff. Can you die? That's pretty disgusting how you look. I spit on you! I don't know how to translate this. <laughs> eh. Sheesh, he lost his arms pretty quick, but this guy is tough. Can you like die? 16, 18, 17, 23, that's how much damage I took him. Finally! Hey, stop doing damage to me. Oh, I immediately decapitated him. Okay! <laughs> I have to remove all the limbs and the head. How? Usually if you remove the brain of a zombie, it's dead. Uh-oh, someone's fucked up here. You've gone up a level. I don't know if it would have helped if I just taken a step backwards, because I think it would have Humbled. Okay. Uh, I guess you can imagine why I like playing this game because I am a huge, like, I'm, I'm still a huge fan of horror games. Okay, I went into a huge circle. I didn't know, I didn't even go into a circle, I just turned around in a stupid way and went back where I came from. Wait. So, I need to find something, two things actually. That's what I still remember, I played this game before. Can I look at this? No. 
I played this game before, but I don't think I beat it. Ah, that's where I need to be. Iron Wailing, Salmon. A piece of iron railing from the fence, I wanted to wave you out. I need to go there. Hello, I kinda need this piece of railing there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop doing that. No idea if this somehow affects where I attack. And how do you oh, stab this signal? Hello? How much health do you have? Kinda of looks like the other guy. Because they were twins too. Ew. This really reminds me of Knights of the Holy Grail. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I like the music. It's like... It reminds me kind of an 80s show or something. So... Yes, we are fighting zombies. A lot. Greetings, my nephew. How may I assist you? Can you help me against the zombies? I'm afraid they can be of little use against them magically, as there are a few spells which can harm a zombie. I can offer you some advice for comedic them, however. Find something sharp to use as a weapon. The zombies are very difficult to kill, but they can be immobilized. If you chop their arms off first, they will be unable to attack you whilst you finish them off. How can I assist you further? Got any tips for this place? I would advise you to make a map of it. As the layer of the stones could be confusing. Watch out for getting stuck in a corner. How may I assist you further? Is there any further advice you can give me? Look for your ancestor's tomb and try to contact the dead. I can assist you further. Can you give me wounds? I can make you a very powerful healing spell, but I shall require a fresh human heart to do it. At least we are in the right place to find one. I guess we'll have to look for one. Wait! I really hope I don't find another zombie. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to go there. Whoa, I don't want to fight you. What? Hmm, perhaps there's another one of these things. Uh... There's a church. Examine. According to the inscription, this tomb is the final resting place of your own family. Oh. Whoa. What? I'm always too fast and walk with. I think it's kind of sucky that you can skip text messages here by pressing forward. Okay, fuck. I'm the one of the zombies. Um, let's save. G2? I really hope I don't die. Can I rest? Oh, game passed. Wait. Um, I need to kill him fast. Oh, I. Oh, I slowly regenerate health by moving around. That's good. Well, I gained a level. It could have been two. Yes, you, I think you can only gain... No, it's just a whipper. Uh. Oh, I sliced... I sliced... I sliced your body open. That's not good. For you. 